Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome to Surviving the Abyss. This game is the next game in the Surviving series. You have Surviving Mars, Surviving the Aftermath, and now Surviving the Abyss. I'm very excited to play this and a big shout out to Paradox for allowing me to play this game and for sending me a code. So I'm very eager to figure out how this game is going to be different from the rest of the Surviving series. And of course, as always, if you enjoy this video at any point, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment section down below on your thoughts and uh, critiques, edits, whatever you want about the game itself. I'm not sure if this will be a short micro series or if it will be a full-blown one it really depends on your engagement so if you do like this engage it in some way so i can understand what you're wanting to go for outside of that there's really not much else to do than start a new game in the years following 1956 much came to be known about the structure of dna and the human genome The possibility of cloning a human being was becoming a reality, as our brightest minds raced to be the first to complete the endeavor. After a few short years, scientists reported the first promising results. A human being was cloned for the first time. The celebrations, however, were short-lived. The test subjects were unstable, their DNA damaged by the cloning process, all died within days. Moral objections to the technology turned to public outrage, outrage turned to protests, and eventually protests turned to riots. Publicly, the research was discontinued. The military, however, was quick to understand the strategic potential of this research. Why stop at recreating life when it could be improved? Plans were drawn up to continue the research in total secrecy, far from the prying eyes of the world, deep below the surface of the ocean. The sea floor provides access to new, highly adapted life forms and ample DNA for experimentation. But the deep sea environment presents a significant challenge. You have been selected to lead a team of the best and brightest. The lives of the crew are in your hands. All right, so a very unexpected storyline, I guess. I didn't expect that's where we were going to go with this at all. But then again, I didn't know what to expect at all. So we are going to play with tutorials on, so pretty much any second now, there we go. But we're gonna take a look at the user interface and kind of go over some things because I'm kind of brand new to this all. And it's interesting that we have a day one already. So menu, population, food, types of genomes, all right. So we will be kind of experimenting on the aquatic sea life. We do have relation uh, effectors, and then we see 12 crew are unemployed, mining subs are idle, a generator is powerless. We have resources, scrap steel, concrete, quartz glass, iron, uh, aluminum, copper, lead, coal, I assume coal and oil is what we will use to power this facility. So that's good to know. We do have a power reading, oxygen, so this will be similar in a way to surviving Mars, but uh, obviously much different. Research data, we've got what? Resource, oh, we have different lenses. Very nice. That will be helpful. Seagrass dunes, I'm assuming this is, yeah, okay, cool. So we're gonna have different areas that we can do. We have power lines, which we can draw. We have tunnels, which we can draw as well. We have buildings, mission log, tech tree, cloning. Ah, okay, we can't do it yet. Let's go ahead and get on with it. Greetings overseer, this message is from command station 7,861 meters above you. We hope you got settled in okay. In the coming days and weeks, you'll need to figure out how to supply power, oxygen, and food, get a stable supply of fuel and building materials. Once basic infrastructure is established, our first big milestone will be a fully functional cloning lab. Good luck overseer, your work your undertaking will benefit all humanity. All right, so yeah, it looks like crew relations is not all that great. Let's do this. We need to get a regular supply of building resources and fuel, set up a mining relay, assign our available subs to it. 
We need to build a mining relay. I think that's probably in here. There we go. Allows mining subs to gather small resource deposits within its area of effects. Oh, cool. All right. So it's basically just wherever we... Whatever probably gets us the best resources, right? All right. This is this is pretty similar to surviving the aftermath. Uh, I like it. Steel, concrete, iron, and coal. That will work for me. And then we could just say mine all. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. We have three. That's right. We have three mining subs. Cool. And away they go. Oh, wow. We can zoom in really close. Yeah, I can see how that's not the best idea. So instead we do that. Let's go with coal, steel, and concrete and see if that helps. All right. Power and oxygen. The central hub produces both, but we're going to need more to continue into the next phase. Build an oxygen generator and a coal generator to get started. Power. There's a coal generator. All right. So I'm not exactly sure if it matters how these... I'm trying to see... Oh, you know what? I bet it does. Aha. Yep. So there are connection lines that we need to worry about. What I'm wondering is how far out I should build them. I'll build right there and hope that that's the smart move. Uh, and then we need what else? We need an oxygen generator. And it'll be the same way we can build right there. All right, and then we saw the power lines. Uh, I don't know how we need to connect them. We can do that right there. And I assume power lines can kind of just be brought out from anywhere. And I don't know if, I doubt they need to be connected. Let's see how efficient that is. And that requires steel, correct? So I had them go after steel, perfect. All right, we're gonna speed this up to speed two. Building material stockpile. Okay, so there was some stockpiling that we had off the bat. And they're going to be dropping it off there instead of dropping it off at the base. Very interesting. All right, there's a little squiddo. Hello, little squid. These are the things that I always enjoy about games. A rough octopus. Lone species of the genus uh, Sasakiapus. Species begins its life in the platonic stage for some time before growing to pursue its adult seaflooring dwelling lifestyle there we go all right that does seem to have worked which is good and now we have seven crew which are unemployed and that's okay so we now have 14 power and nine oxygen that's quite a bit we need to think about consistent food supply carbohydrate farm is simple to build provide us with a large supply of low quality food. This may affect crew morale and eventually impact their health, but it's the best we can do. Use the tech tree to unlock a carbohydrate farm. And this is the tech tree. It's not a whole lot right now. And a big reminder also thinking on this is that this is an early access game. So things may happen that, uh... Ooh, did I just, okay, I did have 45, cool. Now that, that may be affecting gameplay, but it's all good. Let's go here. Where is food? There's power. There's life support. There's carbohydrate farm. Uh, so I imagine what we can do is we can simply build like this, connect via a tunnel, and everything should be hunky-dory to go, but we'll see. All right, that does seem to be working. So that's a good way that we can know we can go through uh, through different areas and through other buildings. That's gonna be very helpful in how we plan out stuff. We've opted to send down additional four crew. Before we send them down, we expect the food stats to be stable and adequate housing. Two living quarters and a stockpile of 75 food will ensure that you can sustain that. All right, so we need to build two living quarters that will be in population. That costs 10 concrete each, one power and one oxygen. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and put, uh, I'm going, I don't know why you wouldn't just directly 
adapt it right there. But we'll we'll do this. And then we're going to put I imagine that I can build underneath and that's not a problem, right? Awesome. That's a that's a good uh, good addition right there. So that will work. Those are two building supplies uh, or two living quarters. And I think for food, this is another 10 and one per 12 seconds. So I'm wondering what our food consumption is. Is there a way? High quality food. Food concern, cons ooh, consumed per day, excuse me. Okay, so that means we do need to build another facility here, which is not a, not a problem. Not a problem at all. We'll build that. That way we're kind of ahead of the curve and that should give us 20 food a day instead of 10 and then we'll be above and beyond. We need to locate larger deposits of resources. The extraction point should uh, show up on sonar scans. Construct a sonar tower so we can test these capabilities. Uh, we still have... Oh, there's lots of concrete there too. I honestly haven't seen anything we need coal for. So let's go after concrete. Although I bet my sonar tower will require steel, of course, but we do have plenty of it. All right, so we have, let's see. I don't know if there's like a logistical solid thing to be putting this. Does it need to use? To Yada yada requires building power and building oxygen. So what we might have to do, I kind of, I kind of remember, I don't have to use the. There's some more steel, but I don't see where it needs oxygen or where we need to tunnel to it. So maybe we don't, but we're gonna get those two buildings built, and we'll see what things look like on the flip side. All right, we've got our two living quarters. We got our carbohydrate farm, our second one. That should bring things up a little bit. What I'm wondering is how, okay, this actually doesn't require O2. I misread that. I'm just wondering how we see things. Let's go with a point of interest or habitat. A resource beacon. That's what we need. Oh, okay, cool. Look at this. That's okay. I get what's going on now. All right. Well, we discovered two new sources of ore. Small scrap metal deposit. Locate fuel extraction point using sonar beacons. Okay, we need to recharge. This is a lot like Ixion in a way. All right, are we going to get there? It looks like crew morale is bumped up by 10% too. Okay, so a fuel extraction point obviously didn't work. Small coal, small coal deposit. I don't know, to me that says that it's, that it's working. Construct a sonar tower. Extraction points should allow show up on sonar scans. Hey, there we go. A coal extraction point. Fantastic. Good. Now we got to figure out what to do with it. Our sonar tower is located a resource extraction point. It's located in the darkness. We must first construct a light tower. Cool. We can build a light tower. I'm wondering. Okay, I see the limits we have. We are going to build straight because that's just how I do things. And then we should probably go ahead. What does that cost? Quartz glass. Okay. So there is a limit to the reach that we have. Go ahead and build another one there though. Construction of the light post is underway. All right, we need power to it. That's something that uh, I goofed up and forgot about. 
There we go. Very cool. All right, so we have that coal extraction. That's an infinite extraction point, by the way. Unlock the coal extractor in the tech tree. I'm glad I didn't go out and do something. Because we only have 45. So we unlocked that, but I don't seem to have a coal extractor. That's a protein harvester. Output upgrade, no. Hospital. Aha, there's different things. So is that what I need though? Research and genetics, exploration. Resources, a coal extractor. Air quality impact minus eight. All right, but we get one coal per 16 seconds, which is pretty darn cool to me. Let's go with, okay, we've got plenty of that stuff. What I'm wondering is if we're gonna need power lines, which I would imagine we would. Not enough resources. Oh, okay, I see. We, we were researching uh, or grabbing some more steel, so we'll be able to get that in just a second as they go in and they build that stuff. No worries there, and we are out producing our food uh, consumption, so there's no problems there either. There we go. Okay, yep, I get it, I get it, I get it, calm down. We may even, let's see, we've got plenty of concrete. Let's go two for steel. Get that rolling so that way they can start utilizing that just a little bit. There we go. And we do need oxygen as well. This isn't something I thought about, but it's not a problem. Requires an elevator, excuse me. Can I not go up? So we need an elevator, do we? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to, but I don't know how I can build an elevator, considering that I don't have much technology. Let's see here, can I just search for it? I can't search for it. Trench extractor. This is a population garden dome in a mess hall. Docks outposts. Interesting. Okay, well. I have to figure out how to get people to here. I built a coal extraction. Oh, nope. That doesn't get out of things. Build a coal extractor on the coal extraction point. We did that. But what we have to do is we have to... Yeah, that's a big problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I found it. <laughs> Turns out there is an elevator shaft building, which is uh, very, very crucial. That's one of the things that I kind of wish they would have told from the beginning. There we go. And then I can go right like this. Okay, well that has to be built. So that's not a problem at all. It's a little unfortunate that it took me a while. It did take me a decent bit to figure it out, uh, but that's okay. We're all good. It didn't require tech. It didn't require anything. It's simply underneath the tunnels. So there you go. Just for the future, that will allow you to do that. And we now have a coal extractor, which should provide us with quite a bit of coal per day. If this mission is to be a success, we'll need research new techs. Build a research lab. Staffing it with crew will generate research data per day. We can attach modules to provide additional daily research data. That's not a problem at all. We can do that hunky-dory. We'll need to have its own uh, area. The first step in our goal is the acquisition of genetic material. Specialized genetic ha material can be found in habitats. We must locate a habitat, build a fauna trap on top of it. First. We should locate a habitat using a sonar beacon. I've already got one right there. Okay, so we need to build a research lab. Which requires 15 steel. So we'll be working on that for just a minute until we can build it. And then we'll build our habitat thingy over John Dory. 
Now, a research lab can be expanded on, so I think we need to give it ample space so that way we can expand. I don't know how much we'll need. That remains to be uh, seen. But what we do need to do right here. Now, this is very temporary. Don't worry. But we need a junction right there to connect that all up. There we go. Now what? We have the utmost faith in you to lead this mission, but a project like this requires great ma many great minds. We are planning to send down a specialist engineer to assist with the setup. Before giving the go-ahead, we, uh, we need to see progress stockpiling 80 gold to ensure the success of the mission. Okay. Pinpointed the habitat, of course. We must make preparations for the cloning process. Build a fauna trap on the habitat. Capture our first genome samples. In addition, begin construction of our cloning lab. So I am going a little bit fast because we need to just get this, the initial steps done with. We are information, let's see, minus eight. Okay, so it seems to be that we're so far out that it's causing an O2 issue. And we can see that by here. Okay, I think everything's okay. Not bad. All right, we'll be good. So we need to build power lines, of course. So that's good right there. We need more power. Roger, Dodger, that. Coal generator is what's going to have to happen Let's see, coal consumption per day is going to bump up to six, but we're bringing in a lot more. So that's not a problem. And I imagine we could simply, uh, we could tack it on right like that. And then build some more power lines. There we go. So that shouldn't be a problem. We'll be right as rain, ready to rumble, and then we'll have to build, what is that? A fauna trap, build a cloning lab, stockpile 80 gold, and construct a basic research lab. Which I think that will go up as soon as we have the power to do so. There we go, awesome. So that's going to generate a lot, and we actually just got a ton of tech. So it would be uh, remiss of me to find ways to rate per day attachment module. Oh, these are modules. We're not going to worry about modules just yet. Allow, allow transport submarines to move crew to other docks buildings. We have an outpost, a new source of light, power, and oxygen. We don't need that necessarily. A mess hall provides recreation. Crew with access can consume low quality food with no detrimental health benefit or issues. So that would be really good. And then of course we can do things like a protein harvester, which allows better food, a hospital, coal efficiency, 20% less coal. I feel like that would be a good thing. Go and unlock that. We're not gonna go bonkers, but we're gonna definitely utilize what we have at our disposal. So that way we're not consuming quite so much coal. There we go, hey, and knocked it down by one. That's not bad, I'm okay with that. So we need to build a fauna trap. What does a fauna trap require? It requires 10 steel. And then a cloning lab also requires 10 steel. So we do have our subs rocking and rolling. I do wonder if there's not a way that we cannot generate more resource, uh, re generate more mining submarines. I would imagine that does require a dock because yeah, we really need we really need as much steel as we can get. There's our fauna trap. It doesn't look like it needs anything, so that's good. We don't need to bring any power supplies or anything to it. What we will need now is just a cloning lab, which does take 10 more steel. The steel supplies are running low. The deposits of scrap steel won't last. If we want to continue, we need to start mining iron ore, converting it to steel in an alloy furnace. Build our first alloy furnace and create steel. Well, it's not as simple as that, lady. 
or person, whoever is in charge up there. We do have a lot of steel that we could uh, go after. In fact, I'm going to have all three of those steel go over there. But yeah, like you can't, uh, you can't ask me to do all this stuff. Unlock alloy furnace and build an alloy furnace. Apparently I can't even access the research station, so no chance of doing that. All right, these are going to gather uh, some cool fauna samples, which will be crucial to our research. And yeah, I think I'll come back to you guys whenever I have everything built, because right now there's not a lot to talk about. All right, well, the cloning lab has uh, been researched. We need to capture three... Sp uh, blah, 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 blah. Goodness gracious, I wish I could talk. Uh, we need to capture three specimens. We have our cloning lab built. It's just what we got to work on. There is no more uh, steel here. So what we need to do is go ahead and... You know what? Let's nab some concrete real quick while we're telling them to do things. That will get them up and running. We are almost stockpiled to uh, coal. Daily gathering rate is five. Consumption is two. And then we still need to build an alloy furnace, which I have unlocked, but have not started. And then what we need to do, let's see, turns two units of iron ore into one unit of building grade steel. So we do have iron right now, which would be beneficial to do. But once again, we don't have a lot of people. Uh, we don't have a lot of people, and so I think what we're going to have to do is once again wait just a little bit until we get to that 80 point so they can bring more crew members because then we can add more crew, which in theory should generate more electricity. I can't build anything right now because I would just go into uh, electrical debt, and that's not beneficial to anyone, so I don't see why we would want that to happen. But I'm going to go ahead and have them collect a little bit more concrete and then I can also build another beacon, another mining relay, which will bring in a ton of quartz glass and steel, which I think would be heavily, heavily beneficial. I'll be right back, guys. All right, well, one new crew member has arrived, which is, uh, I guess, enough to boost us up by four power, which is great. I don't know what this little propeller thing means, though. Oh, I think it's we don't have anyone assigned. Okay. Well, we still don't have anyone signed here. So we could assign. No, everyone has employment. So I don't really need to. Now, health is uh, going okay. We don't see any super long-term detrimental things to it. However, oops. Let's turn that back on. We are going to go to our tech tree. And what we are going to do is do uh, a mess hall. So it provides recreation to crew consume low quality food without any detrimental things we don't have enough so that's what we'll focus on trying to do here in the very near future and we still have to build the cloning lab we have the cloning lab we just don't have the capabilities of putting someone in there and i think that's kind of our biggest issue at the moment we're able to stockpile extra because we put coal in and then uh we think we should probably go ahead and extract concrete once we get all of our coal done but again we do have the capability of doing other things. Now we got something here. One of our coal extractors teams has found a coal vein unlike anything seen before. It's much harder than the rest of the coal surrounding it. Extracting could result in considerable higher yields. Would require one of the crew to descend through the borehole to assess it properly. This is one of those things. We're gonna allow them to do it. Uh-oh. However, there's a casualty. The vein was deep, but much less stable. One of the crew got trapped. They're out now, but we need to spend some time in the hospital. We're going to have to build a hospital. We do have the technological capabilities to do that. It's only 30. And I do want to go ahead and get that running. That should be in population or life support. That does require 15. What is that? Quartz glass? I'm not sure why it requires quartz glass. Nonetheless, that's okay. And we can go ahead and build that right there and build our tunnel extension. Right like that, that will work. The construction modules or uh, subs will be on there, Mary. We will extract as much coal as possible. And we will be right as rain on that point. That's being built, we will focus on that. The cloning lab isn't too terribly necessary for me at the moment. So we're not gonna worry about it. Although I do wonder just how 
we're going to be able to generate more people, bring more people down. I do wonder about that a bit. We're going to pull someone from the carbohydrate farm. Oof. It looks like we're already needing to produce more food. Let's go ahead and add that person there. I'm not liking this. We need more people. We have uh, too much going on at the moment. We are full. So let's go ahead and remove them. We need someone who is unemployed. We can't assign them. That's fine. And then we need one more person to go after this concrete. I really just want to get this area cleaned up as well. So it really needs to happen. We can get as much concrete in here as possible, which we should be able to just get to 100, which will be perfect. We got someone in the hospital. They'll be there for 14 days. And then what I am concerned about is... Sorry. We need, nope. Sorry, we need to employ someone. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, yep, so they're just automatically going. So we're going to do that. We need to open the genome sequencer. Okay, there's nothing we can do here, I don't think. Oh, but here's a whole list of management things. I wonder how we get to that. Ooh, oh my. All right, this is actually really cool. I'm discovering all sorts of new things. We have crew management here, which is going to be good. They're at 90 and they're slowly declining. So I do think we have to focus on that other tech that I was telling you about earlier. I think the sooner we go after this, this may be a mistake and I may be preemptively going after something, but we really need a mess hall so we can get all of that going without being uh, influencing and degrading their health. And then what I can do is I can actually go ahead and tell to focus on the quartz glass we only need 10 we have seven so we'll be able to get that up and running relatively quick and of course 13 days left so we'll have an extra crew member here in just a little bit all right ladies and gentlemen we have our alloy furnace up and running which is really really nice we're gonna let these guys focus on steel a little more we are running low on iron so we have plenty of steel i'm okay with that and then what I accidentally notice, or accidentally, what I notice is that we are low on oxygen and power both. We need to be able to sustainably have enough people, and we are also losing a lot of stuff here. So my biggest issue at the moment is simply that we don't have enough people, and I don't know how to alleviate that. We also have an issue with the abundant bait over here in Fauna Trap 1. Now, I assume that we can uh, allow the John Dory. It appears to have enough bait, but it seems as though I just don't have it. I'm not sure what's going on. I have abundant going on. I guess common is the thing here. I'm a little bit confused on what we're supposed to do. This does not give me anything, unfortunately. It just says capture three set specimens, but it seems as though there's nothing that I can do. There's nothing to click on. I'm half tempted to destroy it and see if I can do something else. We again appear to have enough John Dory or enough specimens in here, but I don't know if I am simply missing. I don't know what I'm missing. I guess I just say fauna capture has not happened for another uh, for a long time. I don't know if I simply need. I mean, is there a power requirement? I didn't see one. There is no power. It doesn't need O2. I'm just very, very concerned that we may not be able to do anything just because it's not working appropriately. I am going to build another whole generator we're just going to stack these guys kind of right next to each other but again that doesn't solve the problem of not being able to have enough crew that is the issue at the moment i've got to figure out what to do with it and how to make it functional so yeah that's uh that's kind of the pickle that we are in at the moment i think what i might have to do is provide a junction point right here 
That junction point will then allow me to spin this off right here. So this aspect of the game is pretty straightforward and I do enjoy it. But again, it's I think what I'm going to have to do is destroy this habitat. For whatever reason, it does not seem to be working. And we can see if our fauna trap... Now hold on, let's read that. Many specimens can be used as bait to, care, uh, to catch various rarities of wildlife. So this is what they told me to do. Where they told me to do it. We'll see if a reconstruction will help or if it will not. A unit crew member is suffocating. I understand. I'm trying to get things up and running as much as possible. I don't know if I overbuilt, if I built too quickly, if I didn't build the right things in the right order or what, but it is just a little bit concerning that things are not going my way. We don't need a biomass generator. We don't need a drill extractor, I don't think. We simply need to increase the quality of life and figure out what we need to do. All right, well, after a short period of time, I figured out what was up. So we needed abundant food, right? This only gives common food. I didn't realize that until something kind of clicked. So I think what we need to proceed is we need to build our trap over an abundant food source. Spider crab, rose fish. Let's go with spider crab because that just sounds fun to harvest. We'll get that rolling. We should be able to be functional with that. Now, one crew member has respiratory. Health problems are reduced. We just simply need more power. That's what it is. That's what we need. I just have to figure out how to get it and how to get it quickly and make things work. We need more people. So I'm hoping that once we're able to get clone research done, everything will be relatively functional and we can get rocking and rolling as fast as possible. There we go, fauna capture is working. We got our spider crabs. They are capturing everything that we need. We do have one person working there. We shouldn't have anyone. Two more days and Linda Young can go back to her workplace. We can have everyone functioning as much as possible. We do have to keep an eye on food because that's going away quickly. We've captured our first fauna. Great. Fantastic. I don't know that we can do anything yet. We can, but it looks like we have to get four. I'm actually going to go ahead and get four of them. This asked me to do three, but we're going to try and do four and see what happens. Can't imagine it would be too detrimental to everything. And we, again, we have to kind of keep going and keeping an eye on everything that we are doing as much as possible. The game looks fantastic. I really am enjoying this. This is very, very, um, I won't say privy. I'm trying to think of the word. Very reminiscent of the other games. So I'm glad they're kind of keeping to the theme overall. We do have three more mining things. Let's go ahead and harvest some coal for a little bit. I don't think there's anything else that we could get. We could go after some iron. Let's go one person there. We're going to go after some iron there. That way we can stock up. I did reallocate people to get more power and more oxygen. So we are actually, our alloy furnace is not working currently. But once we get those specimens in, we got another specimen already. We'll get our third one in. We'll see what happens. And again, hopefully, hopefully, we can start doing a lot of things. Uh, and getting more crew members in because crew members is what is most important people are unhappy all of our food is low quality they're becoming aggressive over food rations let's see promise to provide no i can't do that we'll give extra food to keep the peace that's not going to help us in the long term but we definitely had to do it all right so no one's in the hospital now we can totally focus on other things I don't know what we need to do. Oh, hold on. Let's go to technology. Life support, a protein harvester. Harvest fauna to produce high quality. Must be constructed on an active habitat. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock that. It's only 30. And then we can go over to our life support. We can do a protein harvester. And this doesn't require anything crazy. So we can actually produce high protein stuff over there without any problems the only problem is that I can't build over that what we can do is we can totally come over here and it's a direct shot which is perfect so we will have power there I assume we will have power 
We will have power there. We're already going to extend over there and we can remove this carbohydrate farm because no one's there anyways. That will give us a little more uh, potential power. We've captured our three specimens, which is also good. We just need crew members. That's just what we need. Uh, nothing's going to work effectively until then. All prior experiments in cloning led to test subjects who suffer from poor health, malnutrition, and could only undertake the simplest of tasks. Your work can fix this. We can fix this. The time has come. Open the cloning interface, add the desired genomes, and begin the cloning process. Only if you'll give me more people. I'm going to wait. Like I said, I want to wait until we can get our last fauna. And then I'm actually going to remove them, and I'm going to dedicate someone to... Let's see. We have two people in basic research. Linda Young, you're going to come over there, although we do need more power. I can shut that off, but that does, does that turn off the oxygen? I don't think it does. Awesome. We're getting high quality food, which should make the people quite happy. We're going to wait one more minute until we can get until we can get our last fauna capture. And there we go, cool. Open the genome sequencer. Lots of spider crab, mutation. Mutations decrease a clone's lifespan, okay. Chance of a generalist, 48%. Begin the cloning process. There we go. Now how long will it take is the question. Not too terribly long. So I think what we'll do is we'll probably go after this. We'll see what happens. And then as a result, we'll get rocking and rolling. Now we do need more food. I wonder if high quality food allows us to make more. One food per 20 seconds where the carbohydrate from farm is one per 12 seconds that is an eight second difference we have two rose fish so i'm definitely not opposed not opposed to doing this dropping in some power lines there and then we do need an output station that requires an elevator no problem now that i know where that is Let's see if I can't get this just right. That should be right there. And then, oh, I see. I goofed up just a little bit. That's okay, that will work. That will provide the functioning systems that we need. And that can go there too. Now again, we're, we're gonna be missing people. Um, two mining subs are idle. So that means they harvested everything from over here. Am I correct? They almost harvested everything from here. We still have an iron thing there. That's okay. That's not a problem. There we go. All right. Joseph Bell. We cloned a person. That is, that is bonkers. So we actually cloned a human being that we can then employ and use. Command Station, once again, congratulations on your first success. This is the first partially successful human clone in almost three years. These crew will have limited lifespan, so we're surely going to need more. Expand the population to 20. Uh, so what? Cloning interface failed. Are they just going to repeatedly do that? We have four uses. Okay, interesting very interesting all right that's crazy so we definitely want them to focus on food because we are running out let's how many people do i have in the basic research lab Let's go with employment. There we go. That's actually exactly what I needed to do. Uh, Joseph Bell, come over to here. We're going to have you make more. And then we need that coal generator. We're bad enough as it is. 
Uh, the coal extractor is something we could also do. So now we are making six high quality food per day. So that works. I am okay with that. What we need to do is get other people up and running. Expand the population to 20, which is only going to be two more people. So I think we could definitely utilize this a little bit better. And wait just a little bit longer to see what happens. Prash Stockdale. It's a health of 51. So there, the, these health things are not too great. But that's okay. We have coal. We have enough people harvesting coal. Let's get those two subs. There must be a little bit of a bug here. So maybe we can harvest the rest of that quartz glass and be okay. What I need to do is I need to continue doing this and see if there's anything else that we can explore inside of this small area. I don't think there is. There's a low place over here. Are there any points of interest? There's a low point of interest there. And then any more habitats. There's a low chance of habitats there. Okay. Point of interest and a habitat. Abundant habitats right there. Fantastic. We don't really need anything there. We're getting our food supplies. Oh. Oh. Yep, so we're running low on oxygen. We're running low on a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah, we oof, we are in we're in a pickle. Let's go ahead and turn this off. We're going to dedicate more people to an oxygen. Thank you from the oxygen generator. We now have 20 people as well, so that's really good. That's a positive. We are now producing... I wonder if high-quality food shouldn't count more towards the food demand. Regardless, the first clones have been a partial success. Mutations mean their lifespans are shortened, so we'll need to clone a steady supply to ensure the facility remains functional. This is exactly the start we were hoping for. Sacrifice you are making is a great benefit for humanity. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the perfect place to stop playing Surviving the Abyss. So this is actually a very unique game. I'm a little concerned about the feasibility. Uh, rapid expansion is, of course, a thing that we have to be concerned about. But I'm more concerned about the ability to have a fully functioning settlement, considering that we can't make a lot of things right off the bat. So what I can tell we can do is we could definitely start another fauna trap somewhere over here once we get more power, more dedication to people doing things. And then, oh, yeah, we don't need these two people. We can totally bring them into, into doing other things. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I am excited to continue this game. We will at least go at least another couple or few episodes. But again, your engagement determines the level in which I continue this series. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed it again, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications. But most importantly, for me personally, your comments are what make the videos worthwhile. Thank you once again for watching Surviving the Abyss. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.